Right, hello there and welcome to F1 2017 my Sauber career mode and we're round 15 out of 20 now and it's in Malaysia at the Sepang International Circuit, round 50 out of 20, we're getting very close to finishing our first season. Uh, the three practice sessions have been done, we've managed to get 275 out of 275 resource points and up next is the short qualifying session. Uh, the weather is a bit intermittent to be honest, qualifying will be dry throughout which is a shame but the race has shown that uh, probably halfway through it, it might change into intermediate running uh, which is quite good because I'm very comfortable in the wet on this game uh, last time out at Singapore we did very well in intermediates and managed to pick up a few points and also in FP2 it was intermediate weather and I managed to uh, finish fourth quickest and everyone was out there with intermediate tyres so it wasn't lucky it was legitimate pace so uh, hopefully we can have a good qualifying session we've got no grid penalties to take uh, as far as I know uh, and we've got pretty nice fresh uh, engine parts in there the gearbox I believe we've done three races with the gearbox and it's now sitting on 36% uh, so we'll definitely be able to do our mandatory six and then change to probably gearbox number four to get us to the end which is also sitting on 36% which is a bit strange oh they all are no I don't know what that's about it's a bit high I think probably about 50 but that'll get us to the end of the season uh, as for the power units zero percent then on the ICE but we are now onto our seventh unit three percent on the MG UK 20% on the MG UH zero uh, percent on the NG store 21 on a turbocharger and zero percent on the electronics so I have other ones as well uh, but I thought I'd go into this with uh, a full steam uh, ahead of myself. So we'll exit the laptop, listen to the uh, qualifying goals and see what the team has set us for Malaysia. Right. 18th place and beat Kevin Magnussen. OK then, so we'll go to short qualifying and see if we can do it. I mean, it does look very cloudy, but I don't think there's going to be a chance of rain. Unless there is towards the end. We'll have a look at qualifying plus 15 minutes, see what that says. No, it's just overcast. But the rain there in the race, you can see it's going to start off sunny. Um, and then within 20 minutes, it's going to be intermediate weather. So I'm hoping it sort of arrives mid-race. Um, so I'll probably start on like, a soft tyre compound, unless I'm in the top 10. Um, and then uh, take them to the intermediate. So hopefully it will arrive, but uh, you never know. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So the setup then for Malaysia, just quickly run through that before I get out on track. Make sure I drop the fuel down nice and low. Because we don't need seven laps in there. Aerodynamic sense, seven to six on the wings. Transmission is at 50 and 58, so not as aggressive as it's usually been. Suspension geometry all the way to the right for the camber and all the way to the left for the toe. Suspension is 11.79464. Brake 75 with a bias of 56. Tyres 23, 21, and a weight distribution is a nice number six. So we've got a set of super soft tyres. We've drained the fuel out of the tank. Let's get out there and do a lap and see where we compare with everyone else. It does look very cloudy overhead, but uh, apparently it's not going to rain. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I do like Malaysia. It's one of the tracks towards the end of the season where I do feel very comfortable, and I've always seemed to have gone quite well here. So, I uh, hope we can do it in qualifying. But we'll get the first lap on the board and see where we compare. Seven, just over four minutes left of a session. I will go out again. It felt like a pretty good lap, um, but I could probably find maybe another three, four temps from somewhere and maybe get to a low 35. But we managed to split the Toro Rosso's legitimately, um, just a hundredth of a second away from beating Danny Kvyat. And uh, yeah, it looks promising, doesn't it? We're over a second and a half quicker than our teammate. If you guys haven't set lap times yet, although they are out there doing personal bests, well, they would be, it's their first lap. So yeah, it looks like we might actually be able to creep into the lower half of the midfield here. So we'll go out, we'll do a slow out lap to look after the tyres and uh, yeah have one more go and see if we can improve so I've managed to let everyone through we're going to read a final car across the line and see if we can do it
So there we are, then Raikkonen is taking pole position from his teammate by half a second. Mercedes on row two, Red Bull on row three. Perez, Massa, Ocon and Hulkenberg uh, completing the top 10 and we ended up in 16th place uh, which is quite nice to be honest we haven't managed to beat Magnussen um, lap felt good I think I probably lost a couple of temps out really so uh, I could have very well been looking at maybe 12th or 13th place which is a bit of a shame but I'll take 16th anyway we're uh, you know we're five temps quicker than Alonso we're over a second and a half ahead of Van Verline and Van Dorn so we got good good pace there to be honest and I'm just praying that uh, this intermediate weather starts as soon as possible because uh, we're a lot quicker in the wet than we are in the dry. But 16th place on the grid, it's, uh, it's a good start. So the resource points for qualifying, another 80, takes us over 500, so more durability can be done after this race. Rivalry update, yeah, it's a shame if we managed to do a little bit better, it would have been the other way around. But still six, six each then, so uh, we're on course at the moment at least. Team approval, uh, we can't really go much higher. But uh, yeah, the reputation seems to bounce up and down between a few teams, although Haas and McLaren seem to be uh, relatively interested. And now we'll listen to the voicemail and see what the race targets are going to be. Yep, same as qualifying then really, I think it's very achievable, especially if we manage to keep it clean in the dry part of the race. So we'll have a quick look at all our bits on the car, although I don't know if we can actually change anything or not. If I change it to that, would I get a grid penalty? Oh, I wouldn't. It wouldn't get a grid penalty. But, uh, yeah, these are all uh, pretty much the freshest ones that we have. Uh, yes, they are. So there's nothing else we can really do. Um, uh, where am I going? I want to come out of this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, that would help. Right then, so we'll go to the race. Uh, have a look at the weather forecast and the race strategy. And I need to go back into the laptop to do it, don't I? And, uh, yeah, see what we can do around Malaysia. Well, there's plenty of grid penalties there for a majority of the field. And now we start in 10th place, which is nice. So we're already um, into the points. So we'll have a look at the race strategy. Uh, sunny, cloudy, and then rain towards the end. So, yeah, that's going to make track conditions a bit slippy. Ideally, I want to be able to do, I'd say, 11 laps on a set of tyres. I've done... Soft tyres can be in about, I think about 5 laps can be around about the 30% mark, which would be 10 laps is 60%. So I'm knocking in the door of something dangerous there. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll uh, edit the strategy and start on the old softs. Uh, yeah, we can do that. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to ignore it as long as I start on the softs. We'll bump up to 15 laps worth of fuel. Uh, and yeah, we'll go into the race like this then. So it's going to be a long steal in these soft tyres. Keep it clean at the start because we're starting right in the middle of the field. So uh, there's every chance that we could lose bits of our car going into the first few corners. If we manage to keep it clean, not too bothered about relative pace with all those around me. It's all about when they make a pit stop uh, and we stay out and then hopefully change onto the intermediate tyres. And there's a really good chance that if I don't mess this up, we could be on for a really good result here because we have legitimate midfield pace. So hopefully we can convert that with a, an offset strategy in the race and uh, get, some, get some more good points. So then we're the only car starting on the soft tyres and we're in 10th place. Let's build the revs up. And it's go. Oh, one of the Haas has had a great start. Let's move over to the inside if we can. Oh, we left our braking very late. Oh, get off me. Get off me. Oh, up to ninth place, but we've got Grosjean on our left. Still there as well. Can't hold it. Not on these tyres. We'll settle into 10th though. Probably we've got Vettel right behind me. It's 
So coming around to start lap three, we're still in ninth place. We're sort of keeping pace with the guys ahead of us. And Magnussen as well has got an issue with his car, which is nice because he's our rival. So hopefully he'll start dropping back. Starting to come into attack now. Grosjean's got DRS, Vettel's got DRS as well, and us. Oh, I'm not going to squeeze through that. Yeah, not bad pace in these soft tyres. We're sticking with these guys, which is what we need. A few guys in the pits then. Five laps done, we're up to 26%. And it's starting to get a little cloudy. This is the time where we have to make this work. So then at the moment, into lap seven, half distance, everyone apart from myself and Stroll has made a pit stop. Oh, and Ocon behind, so uh, but both of them will be in soon. And then it'll be us in front, praying for this rain. rain in any moment so we are now legitimately well we're not legitimately in the lead of this race uh, but we are in the lead of the race at the moment and I'm gonna hold out until the rain arrives if they make a decision can't imagine if we won this race it's so coming into lap 9 then Still six laps to go, no sign of the rain. I'm not going to lie here, I'm legit nervous. I really don't want to fuck this up. Hamilton all over the back of me now. It's going to be difficult to keep him by to, behind, to be honest. I've got to focus on my own race and stop trying to be a hero. The race will come to me for rain drops. Five seconds after saying that, we have rain, started to rain. So I think both Hamilton and Raikkonen are gonna get a run of me here. Hamilton's through, nothing I could do about it. And here will come Kimmy. I'll try my best to defend. never going to happen. Let's just focus on our own race here. The rain's now falling pretty heavily already to be honest. But we've got to make the change at the right time. It will be intermediates but I've got to do it at the right time. Oh, the track conditions are already changing. It is really difficult out here. We're going to go for it. And just as I do that, DRS is disabled. So I don't know if everyone's going to be making a pit stop now. Looks like they are. I don't know where the pit line line is. Haven't actually come into the pits yet. Oh, here it is. Not bad then. So we'll change off these soft tyres onto a set of intermediates. We should come out in third place. So four laps in conditions that are really quite light. We've got a great chance at third here. Oh, the safety car is out. So something's happened. Vettel, Vettel's out the race. So we've got a safety car towards the end of the race here. That's going to make things even more interesting. I don't know how I feel about the safety car, to be honest with you. Um, 
Yeah, it gives me an opportunity to maybe have a go at Raikkonen and Hamilton in the last couple of laps. But we had a really good gap over to everyone behind us, which means our third place may now come under attack. We're sitting here in a, with a podium opportunity. And uh, yeah, I think I'd preferred it without the safety car. So safety car is in this lap then, so it's only done a couple of laps. So we'll have two laps then. I've got to get some heat into these tyres, they're going to be ice cold. Most important restart of my career. Oh my god, Hamilton couldn't go slow if he tried, could he? Here we go then, green flag racing, two laps. We've got to run on Raikkonen here, we've got to run. We've got to go for it. Oh, locking all four wheels. But we've managed to take Kimi for second, can we get Hamilton? We've hit the curve a little bit. We've lost second place. That might have killed our chances of getting Hamilton there. Last lap, Ben. Last lap. Can we get Kimmy again? We're going for it. Yes, we've made it stick. Back up into second. Oh, we've run wide on the curve. I don't want to be doing that. Oh, we've had a good exit, though. We should be able to defend from Kimmy. One more corner, and this will be our second place finish. Shame we couldn't get Hamilton. I thought we might have had a chance, but that mistake after the safety car lost his time. But we're going to finish the race in second place. Fantastic result. So yeah, shades of um, 2012 with Sergio Perez, isn't it? With a sour finishing in second place after having a legit chance of winning the race. Disappointed we didn't. <laughs> to be honest with you, but I'm still buzzing with the second place. Played the strategy brilliantly. Um, it was going to said it was going to rain. Thought I'd wait for it and just pick the right moment. Without the safety car, I think we would have had a net third. So in the end, it's managed to get a second. Um, and Perez, uh, after the safety car, definitely didn't have the pace. So Hamilton's won. We finished second. Our first podium in his career mode with Raikkonen in third place. Perez, Massa, Ricardo, Bottas, Stroll, and then Verstappen after starting 15th gets ninth. And Sainz in tenth. Kvyat, Grosjean, Ocon further down as well our teammate was 16th between Van Dorn and Magnussen who had problems and Alonso's had five seconds added to his race time Palmer has finished a lap down and Vettel we know uh, failed to finish the race so we'll have a quick look at the standings then we should have moved up we have look at that you can already see up to 11th place but Hamilton is uh, extending his lead at the top 46 points ahead of Kimi Raikkonen now so almost two race wins with just I think five races to go now four or five races uh, Bottas is in third place on 201 and and Vettel still playing catch up in fourth on 71. We've shot up then with our 18 points and now onto 32. And only four behind Lance Stroll and a possibility of finishing in the top 10. So we've jumped Hulkenberg, Sainz, Magnussen and Grosjean. And still Verline and Alonso are the only ones to not score a point. In the constructors, we've absolutely rocketed, look at that, up into sixth place. But we are now in an almighty fight with Renault, Haas and Toro Rosso. Three points separates all four teams. And we've gone ahead of Renault due to our second place. And McLaren 
are looking rather crap now with their single point. At the top, Mercedes with 492. Uh, Ferrari uh, still there in shouting distance, but uh, 76 points behind. And then the Red Bull looks safe in third and still 10 points between Williams and Force India in their battle for fourth place. So then the resource points, everything should be really nice and high after this race. It's definitely been our best weekend. Another 125 takes us just underneath 700. The resource points for first driver bonus, only 26. Oh, we need more, don't we, really? The rivalry update, there, yeah, look at that. We've got five green ticks and we're now three ahead of Magnussen. Um, so, yeah, very good. Got a podium as well, yeah, first podium. Team approval? Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's the best I've seen it. Even Mercedes have gone, oh, hold on a minute, this kid's a bit special. But uh, yeah, obviously McLaren's still in pole position to at least offer us a contract, uh, but I'm enjoying my time at Sauber, and I'm looking forward to season two when we start to do some performance upgrades rather than the durability stuff, and we should be able to get more and more competitive as the next season goes on. But that's nice to see the reputation level going up like that. And finally, the career score. I wonder if we've got an opportunity here to hit 10,000. Well, we have, haven't we? We're going to go over 10,000 here. This is the first. 13,871. That's definitely the most points I've ever scored in a weekend. And just shows how well we've done in practice qualifying the race as well. 3,300 points. Kept it clean throughout. And, uh, yeah, that was a really, really good weekend. So we'll have a quick look at the laptop then. See what all our bits are like. A trophy has been added to our collection. Indeed it has. Well, it hasn't really a trophy. It's just been coloured silver. So, uh, yeah, it's gone quite well, actually. You look at our last, I think, six races. We've scored points in four of them. And, uh, yeah, we're certainly getting better with this one. Uh, so let's have a look. Most interested teams, McLaren, Honda and... Honda? No, McLaren, Haas and Renault. Uh, the vehicle management then, um, I'll change all this back uh, before FP1 at the next event, which is, is it Japan by any chance? It is Japan, so not a track I like, so um, we might be coming back down to earth pretty soon. So then, upgrades, we'll have a look. The competencies we have unlocked for second one for simultaneous development. We can now, uh, what is it? We can now have three upgrades per department at the same time due to completing 50 practice programs with a perfect score. A lot of P's in that. Uh, we need to do one more classic event to get the development time on the miners halved and uh, we need to do 11 more races uh, as a first driver with Sauber to get 10% and down here the pit stop efficiency we've done 16 of 25 pit stops so these three are going to take a while but uh, we're certainly cracking on with the uh, simultaneous development. Uh, so then durability we've got another 500 to spend and we have 11 bits left so um, we should probably get the MGUH done there we go so that's left us with 224 we'll be able to do another one after Japan as long as we have an all right weekend and I don't know whether to start spending money on all this stuff here like to get things a bit cheaper um, and a bit and to have them fail less often uh, it might be something yeah, I don't know maybe we'll get like a massive sponsor bonus or we can uh, stop development in a few races time and then it it's, it adds to it for next season, but I don't know really. I kind of want to get it all done. But uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. Then we're over halfway in the durability now, which is very nice. Uh, next event will be Japan, which I'll probably do in a couple of days. But that was Malaysia then. So yeah, what I've been saying in practice about having good pace in the wet and all right pace in the dry, backed up in qualifying. Started inside the top 10 due to everyone having penalties. Kept it clean at the start on the alternate strategy. Waited for the rain. It fell. We had a safety car, which caught me up to Hamilton and Raikkonen. And we managed to finish in second place in the end. So by far the best weekend that we've had on this career mode so far. And I'm really happy that we finally had a really positive result. Um, it might be a bit downhill from now on. The only track after this... I kind of like is uh, Brazil um, so I think all the others will just be a case of just um, making sure we get all the practices done right and getting all the resource points and uh, yeah maybe just ending the season with no more points which I wouldn't mind but we've managed to pick up 18 today at Malaysia which is a fantastic result for myself and the team so hopefully you've enjoyed watching it as much as I've done making it and I'll see you all very soon